Right then. So, I managed to get this done quicker than I thought I would because I was using a bigger brush and it's a smaller canvas. So I quite enjoyed it. And it, it is a sort of metallic, but it's, you can't see much metallic because I've painted it quite thinly. I might go over it later a bit more thickly. Now, I was going to do this against black on a black background. Because as I said, my previous ones, are the one, when I first started doing them, they were on a black background. But as I was doing it, I just suddenly felt I wanted to put grey with it because pink and grey go so well together. So bugger it, I'm going to. That's what I like about painting. You can just, you think, oh, I'm going to try this. Oh, and what you thought you might end up doing. Halfway through, you decide to do something different. This is a pre-mixed grey from Arteza. It's a, it's not a, it's um a bit of a, what's the word? A bit of a bleak grey actually. It's not that attractive a greyer colour, but I'm going to go with it anyway, just to see what happens. And again, like I say, I won't be. I won't be filming all, well I will be filming all of it, but I won't be filming all of it in these live sessions because the actual filling in of paint is not that exciting. Almost tempted to say I want that grey to be a bit lighter, but the trouble is once you start mixing paints I really want the paint to be a uniform colour across the whole piece. Although having said that, you can see different areas where I've painted thicker bits, so they're not uniform. Right, so I'm going to stop this particular video and then carry on with the rest of the filming.